VVS to take all in my wristwatch. Hey, 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 it's your girl Capri. So today we are doing some locks. Yes, my hair is prepped to do the Jazz Nicole method. And in the middle, I am doing just the regular crochet. So let's go ahead and get started. So right here, I'm just showing you that these will definitely cover up that middle part that I'm doing the regular crochet in. So let's go ahead and take our crochet needle and our goddess locks from Free Trust Equal Braid. And we're gonna go ahead and just do the regular method where you put your crochet through, hook through your hair, you slide it on and you just pull it right through the hole. You don't have to double knot it or anything. Just one time through the loop is perfectly fine. So yeah, this right here is about two packs of hair, maybe two and a half, and this is almost all of the packs that I'm using. So right now, this is the Jazz Nicole method. You're gonna go underneath the base of your braid, close to your scalp. You're gonna put the crochet needle through, and you're going to hook the lock onto the hair, close the latch, pull it through, and then proceed to pull the lock through the loop. You can also pull your braid through the loop, but I chose not to, but um, you can definitely do that. It's just whatever floats your boat. And after you get it on there securely, you just proceed to open the lock up and wrap. Now you wanna make sure that you wrap in the right direction. It's kind of a feel thing, it's hard for me to explain, but you'll know when you do it yourself. And you just continue to wrap and wrap until you get to the base of that braid and just wrap and you're good to go. If you're doing it wrong, trust me, it will unravel on you and then you just go back in and do it the opposite way that you did it, if that makes any sense. So I'm just gonna stop talking right here. Once again, just doing the Jazz Nicole method. Um, just continue to watch and I hope that you guys enjoy this video. Hey everyone, it is Capri, so I'm back with my locks installed in my head, and oh my gosh, I love them. Now, they've been in my head for a week, actually, so I am so sorry that I did not come to you guys back when I first installed them. I installed them last Thursday, and today is Thursday, so it's officially been a week or a week and a day or whatever. So yeah, um, I was just in a rush trying to get them in before I went on our um, cabin trip, so... I just didn't have time and I'll, you know, I procrastinate packing and all of that. So yes, if you guys are wondering what these locks are and you did not see my unboxing video, then they are these Free Trust Goddess Locks in the color 1B and they're 18 inches long. And they come already curled on the end to give you that Goddess Lock feel. And I just went in and added some lock beads to it. Now, I know y'all are going to wonder, like, how many packs did I use? So let's just talk about the packs really quick. So each pack comes with 24 individual locks in them. And they're really, really skinny. Um, and I used four packs plus six individual locks from the fifth pack. So I did not use that many packs at all. And it looks like there's already a lot. Because I didn't do... Um, the regular crochet method. Um, I know with regular crochet, you usually are trying to cover um, braids and parts and all that stuff. And I really, really like this method. But the thing, the only issue that I had with this method was um, a lot of the time, like it took me forever, y'all, because a lot of the time I was wrapping the wrong way and it'd be cute. And then the minute you let it go, it'll start unraveling. And I did that quite a bit. So a lot of my locks ended up getting a little messed up because I was just, you know, going through it with some of these locks. Um, some of them came out a lot bigger. Like, look at this one. Like, it's bigger than, say, this one next to it. Like, some of them, when they raveled back up, they just came out bigger than what they were. But I don't really, I actually like that some are big and some are small because it gives it that, like, non-perfect look. I don't want no perfect 
like cookie cutter locks like I want it to look like my locks then been through it so I don't know how many packs you would need exactly if you were doing the regular crochet method I wouldn't think that you would need a lot um more I don't I don't know don't quote me um I would say at least get seven packs if you're going to do like the regular crochet method way because when you're having like the individual way um you're losing out on a lot of those sections that you need to cover because you don't really care if the parting is showing or whatever the case may be i really do like the locks but because they're so like soft and smushy and squishy and all of that um they do get frizzy really really easily so i'll probably leave this in for like one more one more week or so um, and if I can reuse them, I'll reuse them. But if not, then it's okay. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys what the hair looks like. So let's side, the other side. So yeah, what do you guys think? It's really, really cute. It's my first time having locks, so I was very excited to install them in my head um once again thank you guys so much for watching my video make sure that you guys comment rate and subscribe and don't forget to hit that bell to be updated on new videos